Commence 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, and lift off for Falcon 9, Go Falcon, Go Galaxy 37. People pitching down range. T plus 30 seconds into flight, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Pad 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. During ascent, we'll tilt the engines in a technical term called gimbling, and that will turn the rocket horizontally in what we call a gravity turn. Nominal power and telemetry. Now we're still going up, but we're also heading horizontally away from the launch pad. And the rocket typically needs to go about 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid being pulled back down to Earth and reach orbit. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Just like that cannonball I mentioned earlier in the webcast. Now coming up, we should throttle down the Merlin 1D engines in preparation for max Q or maximum aerodynamic pressure. Max Q. And there's that call out. We did just pass through the point of max Q. And now we have three events coming up in quick succession, starting with Miko, Stage Step, and SES-1. Main engine cutoff, or Miko, is the point during the flight where we shut down those nine Merlin 1D engines on the first stage. Shortly after that, stages one and two will separate from each other, and that's so that the second stage isn't carrying unnecessary mass to orbit, and of course, the first stage booster begins its trip back down to Earth. Stage separation confirmed. And back ignition. There we go, folks. You just heard and saw those three events that happened back to back. Those were Miko, Stage Step, and SES-1. Coming up next in around 30 seconds will be fairing separation. And Stage 1 is actually slowing down as it is no longer under power of rocket engines. Fairing separation confirmed. And there we go. There go those two fairing halves. We will be attempting to retrieve both of those again today once they fall back to Earth. And we'll be using our recovery vessel, Bob, for that. Stage 1 landing burn. And back shutdown. And there's Seco 1. We're just waiting confirmation of a good orbit and a stage 1 landing. Nominal orbit insertion. There we go. Great news there. Confirmation of a good orbit. Stage 1 landing leg deploy. Woo! Stage 1 landing confirmed. There you have it, folks. Expected loss to zero. Cape. That landing marked SpaceX's 213th recovery of an orbital class rocket, and that includes first stage landings for Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy missions. Now the... Galaxy 37 spacecraft separation confirmed. There we go, folks. With that confirmation of successful payload deployment, that will end our coverage of the Intelsat Galaxy 37 mission.